to my teammates, the coaches for coming out here, my wife and my family, Sandy for the last couple months. I haven't been easy to live with, so. <clears throat> You know, this is a celebration. I got nine years of, of playing football, extra years, because, you know, you weren't supposed to play after college. <clears throat> I owe a great debt of debt, gratitude to the Spanos family and the Chargers. I've made some great friends over the years. <clears throat> Good example is Hardwick. <clears throat> we battled together for eight years, and we went to... For people who don't know, I went to Indiana and he went to Purdue. And we're rivals, man. I hate the Boilermakers with a passion. I got a sticker of them in my urinal so I can piss on them every day. <laughs> but the friendship I got with him is, it's more, it, you know, it's loyalty and, and, and the, he knows I was gonna go to battle with him. You know, you put aside your differences with Purdue and Indiana. I mean, I love this kid so much that he's the godfather of my son. And that's just unheard of, you know, with Indiana Purdue. But he's a great guy. Him and I had a great career together. I wanted to finish it with him. Didn't happen. Marcus, Marcus McNeil, man, who would have ever thought a country boy and him would ever get along like we did? He's one of my dearest friends as well. <clears throat> we battled a lot. The memories I got, the friendships, the relationships, you know, I, met my wife out here. I got a beautiful family. I want to thank all my friends, the text messages and all the messages that people have been sending. And uh, it means a lot. I'm very thankful for that. <clears throat> you know, I, I gave everything I had. It ended a little early, but you know, it is the right thing to do. You know, f future of life, whatnot. But uh, I had a blast, nine years. Whew. I wasn't supposed to make it through the first training camp. And I'm here nine years later. It's awesome. It's awesome. Coach Hunter, thank you. That's all I can say for him. <clears throat> He's been great. And thank you to all my teammates. It's been a good run. You know, he, if you had 53 Chris Dillmans, you'd win a bunch of games. And um, just. And he plays football the way he played it as a kid and the way we all played in high school. It's never changed. Well, while it's a business in this level and there's a lot of things that change, he treated it the same way. And I know uh, I appreciated it. The guys appreciated it. Um, you know, the uh, <laughs> I knew I'd get going too. The one thing I'll miss most, I think, and, and this is kind of a private thing with Chris and I, but, you know, I always kind of give the lineman a little headbutt, you know, before we go out for the uh, first play of the game. And, uh, you know, Chris always, you know, grabbed me a little tight and said, lead us. And, um, you know, him saying that every week was special. And uh, th that, that, right, that moment there is probably what I'll miss the most, you know, week one next year. Um, and obviously, again, just having him, uh, he's, been the, he's been the guard ever since I've been the quarterback. So I can't thank him enough for uh, those, all those last minute blocks that, that kept, uh, kept a hit off and all the fun times in the huddle, all the arguments in the huddle. Uh, when I called a pass and he moaned because he wanted to run. Um, all those things you certainly miss. Um, I think I speak for everybody in saying, you know, we love you. And uh, we'll uh, look forward to many uh, chats about all the, all the past years and, and fun we had. That's all I got.